Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for the foreign exchange market for Thursday, November 5th, 2020. And if you'd like to support this channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. You're also welcome to join us on Patreon. We have a very good community there with traders, and you'll get access to our trading signal and our full technical analysis for the commodities market. So um, we'll look at Great British Pound US dollar first. And uh, the US dollar index was basically all over the place today. It depreciated significantly at the end of the session. And at this point, it had an effect, of course, on, on the Great British Pound in the US dollar. We basically went back and forward for a very long time. At this point, we are trading just above the 100 moving average. Technical indicators for this are fairly mixed. These indicators are basically flat, but the stochastic is showing signs of life, and the same is the place the Bollinger Band. At this point, I do believe that we are going to test these highs again. A break below the 50 moving average opens the door to these highs of 12, uh, 1284, and so on. But we'll take a look at the US dollar index. If that appreciates, then it will, or depreciates, then it will have an enormous effect on this market. So, US dollar yen. So it did exactly what we expected it to do. It broke significantly to the downside. We rally up towards the 40 exponential moving average and then basically collapsed. We pulled back a little bit, but at this point, I do believe that we are going to test these uh, this trend line here. Uh, we are, are in a channel that is trading downwards very gradually, but very predictably. Um, technical indicators are all turning around. We are quite oversold at this point. So a little bit of pullback towards the, the 20 exponential moving average and then towards these lows. It may take some while, but that is where we are going. No interest in basically buying this because, well, we have already tested the high several times and then we also have to test the lows. Euro US dollar, we have rallied significantly up towards 100 moving average and found the resistance there. Um, at this point, it's just a matter of time before we break the 150 moving average and then we'll go looking for these highs. Uh, technical indicators for these uh, currency pairs are very, uh, are fairly, I say, uh, bullish at this point. Sarcastic so and the uh, Bollinger Band are indicating that we are going higher in the single, so the RSI, not CCI. And the RSI is technically flat. So um, most likely to the upside, uh, break low, we'll find a major support here at this level at 11.63. So Aussie US dollar, we have rallied significantly uh, above the 50 moving average and we are just exploding to the upside. Uh, this was one of my failed trades earlier uh, this week. I entered uh, for a buy to... Uh, too early, I should have entered here and, and so on, but but you can't get all of the trades. Um, the same goes for the US CAD and so on, but it, it did rally as I did expect. We rallied uh, the most here, really 3%. That is an enormous rally uh, for the Aussie US dollar. And at this point, technical indicators are just exploding to the upside. And we have around five points until we are overbought. So if we can get a green candlestick above the 50 moving average, that probably opens the door to these highs for next week's trading. So US CAT, um, we broke down significantly, found resistant here as expected. If this breaks, then we are going much lower significant lower and there is room to the downside we're only 45 so there is a lot of room to the downside we may go all the way down to this area here around 1284 uh, the technical engineers are all turning around it's just a matter of whether or not this line here breaks and that opens the door to these very lows no interest in basically buying this this is going lower and much much lower so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to subscribe Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest video. Good luck and thank you very much.